So I'm making these boxes out of purple heart. It's a really cool naturally purple wood and they fit these silver coins just perfectly. And then the lid will close on. I'm going to be laser engraving 25 years because these are a 25th year wedding anniversary gift. So now I'm gonna show you how to laser engrave it and get it perfectly centered. I made this jig here out of a piece of cardboard. So what I did was I put it in and cut out the square. And now I can take this piece of wood, slide it in up into the corner. Actually, it'll be like this. And then whenever I tell it to cut, it will cut it because it always knows where the origin is, so it'll be centered. We now have the file imported here. It's the correct years, and we can go ahead and click raster and grave. We're gonna run it at speed 300 and at 25 laser powers, 25%. Um, so now it's gonna start engraving. And if you run it too fast, right now 300 is kind of the sweet spot, but if you run it too fast, the belt will slip and it'll ruin your print. Now we'll go ahead and turn off the laser and take a look at our part. Take it out. You can see that shows up real nicely and it's very clear. So I have the insets marked out with pencil on the wood. Might be a little hard to see, but what we're gonna do is very lightly score those lines and slowly make them deeper. Now let's go ahead and take a chisel and carve out the inset. So just only take a little bit at a time and very light taps and work your way across. Taking your time with the chisel is really important. I got this bucket of hinges. There's actually 60 of them in here and there's 240 screws for about seven or eight dollars, which is really a good deal, I think. And if I take one of these and put it in the slot that I just cut out, you can see it fits in there just perfect. These wood shavings are kind of neat. They came off of the uh, purple heart. I used this four center to drill the hole that put the coin in but they're kind of an interesting color. So I put a little felt piece there at the bottom. So whenever you drop it in, it's just a little bit nicer. Now I'll go ahead and put in a hinge, take one of my screws, and put it in there. And I drilled a pilot hole with a really small drill bit because that makes it go in so, so much easier. Now I have the hinges all screwed in and it looks real nice and the coin fits in there just perfect. And I think this turned out great. I think the wood really looks nice with the coin and the hinges. And that laser engraving is nice and subtle. I really like how that looks.